everyone, I'm Katie Sade from Public Ambition and I've got the beautiful Amanda Darrow with me today. Mm. So I'm going to be finding out a bit about her, but I'll let her introduce herself to you. First of all, <laughs> you're so gorgeous. I'm just looking at you like, what? <laughs> Alright guys, my name is Amanda Darrow and I'm a TV presenter, I'm an actress, I'm a model and I'm also a skincare entrepreneur. So yes, that's me. <laughs> yeah, so like I got to Lagos, I was like, I have to speak to some of the women out here who are running businesses. Somebody who runs businesses myself in London. I was really interested in finding out more about young women here and how they're handling everything. Yeah. So I scrolled through your Instagram page. I was like, okay, yo, I need this money on this channel. <laughs> so the first thing that struck me was that you you look so busy and constantly engaged with um, being a host and being a model. So how do you balance that with running a career and starting a career to begin with? Wow. I mean, sometimes I ask myself that same question. It's a very good question. Um, to be fair, I think there are seasons. So like. This is the Christmas season, so it's a very busy season for me as a TV presenter and as a host and as an actress and as a model. But towards like the end of the February, March, April, kind of like slows down a bit, so I have more time to focus on my business. But here's what I'll tell you: structure is everything. So with me, I've been able to set up like a bit of a structure with my business, where um, I have somebody who handles the packaging and the logistics. I have another person who handles the social media page I have another person that handles the design and everything so maybe what I need to add to that team is quality control because it's really important but like it's we're all starting small so basically I'm not there physically I see everything that's happening I have a process for it I have whatsapp um, groups for it, different groups for different purposes so I see the in and outs of my business but I'm not necessarily involved in the day-to-day -day activities it's just more like a supervisory role but it didn't just start here this is my second year in second year and like a, a month now in business so I, obviously I didn't start like this it's just that I've been able to set it up to this particular level and my goals were well growing bigger and bigger mm. by each year okay mm. I was scrolling through your brand page so the brand is called Dara Naturals um, yes. the content is very clean everything is about how you like how to improve on your beauty and maintain your skincare routine um, and the content is very engaging for me I was scrolling through like I can relate to this I can relate to that but I was wondering in terms of starting your company your business what is what, what is the process? So you have the idea and then how do you, is it the next day you start or do you have to put something to Someone play? like me, that's how I start. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I would say that procrastination can be like a disease. <laughs> and you know, it's good to want to start things properly, to have a, a proper system and a proper structure. But if you are like me, just start honey because you would never start. So I always wanted things to be in place. I, wa I wanted the type of packaging. I wanted the type of look. I wanted to have an array of products. I wanted to be like, um, if you're Nigerian, you know, like a Jumia, or if you know, if you're abroad, you know, like an Amazon kind of thing for organic skincare products. But obviously, I can't, I can't just start and take over the whole market like that. So what I did was, um, I actually took my paycheck, my salary for the month, and I invested it in my business. And I had two products at the time. I started with honey and um, coconut oil and activated charcoal actually because I was being a distributor for someone. So I started with distributing for this brand in, um, in Port Harcourt mm -hmm. that used to make activated charcoal. Actually, that's how I started, but that wasn't under Darren Naturals. That was just me as a side uh -huh. fossil. Then people be like, oh, do you have honey do you have this do you have that i'm like oh why, why can't i sell these things mm -hmm. you know and so i started with those two products under my name and at some points people were like oh but i would like to have like something for my body like an oil so now because i didn't get like a formal training and everything i've learned is from youtube uh although right now i've, I've i'm getting certified pretty soon and everything but i decided to keep it as as close to nature as possible what i mean is that um i sell coconut oil pure and organic coconut oil i sell raw honey i sell black soap raw black soap nothing added so i try to keep it as unprocessed as possible and then encourage diys because if you're really using organic products then it, they love your body it's just about what do you want to put inside you want to put honey inside your black soap do you want to put turmeric do you want to put rose water it's okay but so you know your skin type and you know what is good for you by trying it out. So that's how it started. Then of course I started getting them trained um, suppliers who were good at making scrubs and all of that. And I tell them the ingredients I want, even scrub. Like this scrub 
it just has um, hibiscus, salt, and lavender oil. That's it. I'm not about to put like 15 ingredients in something. Mm -hmm. So I try to keep it as simple as possible. And that has also reduced like our risk. So we don't really get like horrible feedback. Like, oh my God, my skin color has changed. And it works. Because I used to have really bad skin problems. And because I'm a host as well, I'm on makeup almost every single day. Mm -hmm. So I used to break out a lot. And I'm like, I, I need something that it's not going to be harsh for my skin. I need something that um, my skin will accept and I can use all the time without having adverse effects. And that was how it started. So to me, I would say start from wherever you can start from. It might look small. Like when I started, a friend of mine was like, oh, you're selling kitchen spices. And I'm like, <laughs> kitchen spices. You know, and then when we turn to He's the same person that is like, oh, wow, I'm so happy for you. You're doing so well. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so people laugh at you. People make fun of you. But it's all part of the process. I just believe in starting with whatever you can start, whatever, especially in a place like Nigeria mm -hmm. where resources are scarce. So start with whatever you can find. Mm -hmm. Don't be waiting for that two millionaire capital. Okay. Hard. So if you I'm see food so flying out of my mouth, please don't judge me because uh, I'm sorry. Come on, <laughs> join us. No, no, no. Three laminate. Three is fine. Yeah? No Thank fanta. you. No Fanta. No. Fanta. Thank you. You want Fanta? No, lemon no, 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 no. Okay. Um, so, mm. something which I think is a really important question to ask yeah. young women in Nigeria is... I'm sorry, I just have to get there. <laughs> but listening to you, this looks this so is, yummy. <laughs> so, as a young woman in the industry, <laughs> I just the worst things I've but I'm listening to you. I knew this was gonna happen. Do you know what? I need to get a picture myself. But, um. Yeah, as a young woman in the industry, mm. what are the challenges that you face because you're a woman? So I've had people that have asked for like loans, and um, I went there very serious, and I'm try trying to take my business like to the next level, and I need like at the time I needed a four hundred thousand naira, and, and the person told me. Oh, I don't respect women who sleep around for money. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, like, I was, I, I was, I was, with you. <laughs> I was questioning myself, like, did I speak English? Did I say, like, did I say something? Was I, you know, mm -hmm. so flirty? Like, for the longest time, I couldn't talk to that person again because mm -hmm. I felt, I actually felt like I did something wrong. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the challenges where it's almost like, oh, you want this. What are, like, what are we getting in return for it? Mm -hmm. So capital can be a real issue, which mm -hmm. is why I said just start wherever you are. Mm -hmm. And even taking loans, I feel sometimes they're a trap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some people have done it and you know they succeeded and everything. Mm -hmm. But for me, I would just say that I don't, I don't buy the idea mm -hmm. of taking loans. Mm -hmm. My market, because my products are really affordable. This is like two thousand. This is a thousand naira. This is. Three, five. Mm -hmm. So I think the highest. This is this is um how much is this? One five. So so just to put that into context for anyone watching in the UK, because obviously okay, that's where. Okay. So one naira is four hundred. Sorry, one pound is four hundred and fifty naira. So this is one k. This one. Mm. This is one k. That's that's like three pounds. So it's very affordable. Yes. Um, which is quite difficult to find in Lagos, especially stuff that's like actually organic and actually yeah. good for your skin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with experts who've actually studied the industry, so that's really good. And you find that you still make profit, although yeah. because you're using natural natural ingredients. Yeah. Or and because I source from, I source locally. A lot of things are locally sourced. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that reduces the cost as well. Okay. And to be fair, it's organic. I'm not trying to be like importing from the UK. Uh huh. Something that grows in somebody's backyard in well, With Brexit, good luck importing to anyone importing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it goes well for you. <laughs> let's talk money talk. So let's talk money. So what, what at what point money? at what point in your business did you start to feel like you were making money? And for you, is it something that <laughs> is consistent or is it like sometimes you might have a dry month, you might have two dry months, you might be worried about I need to pay this, I need to pay that, and you don't know when your next income is coming. Or is it for you that you find it's consistent and you can relax, like in your job role? Well, yeah, I do you find that. it more consistent? For my skincare products, not necessarily mm -hmm. not necessarily a dry season, but there's just some ones that do better than others. So um have there been times when we have had dry spells, of course. Mm -hmm. Do I feel like my business is making money? No. Yeah. It is making money, but not the kind of money I wanted to make yet. 
Right, not the, for the lifestyle that you know you need. Yeah. You need and deserve to live. <laughs> <laughs> so before we wrap up, yeah. tell me where you're gonna be this time next year. In terms of your career, in terms of an individual, yeah. like what are your goals for the, for the next 12 months? Hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, I didn't even vision that I'll be where I am right now. Mm -hmm. um, last year, mm -hmm. I had a really love the um, Well, yeah, we were 2019. <laughs> I'm like already 2020. Yeah, I had a really rough 2018, mm -hmm. and um, I'm just even really grateful to be where I am. So next year, um, <laughs> it was actually kind of private because I had like a list of things that I prayed for from God. Uh huh. But by God's grace, He does it for me. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, I hope to have gotten NAFTA mm -hmm. for all my products. What's NAFTA? It's um, basically, I think they have it in the, in the UK as well to register foods and drugs. And right, 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 right. Certified by the government. Okay. So I hope to do that. So it's not. I, I take it from a small business to something that can be sold nationwide mm -hmm. so that's basically a testing it with it well it's tested but they test it legally like in their right in their labs in their labs yeah. they you have um, the chemical composition and everything they, they, so once they certify that it's safe mm -hmm. for nigerians to buy it means that you're going nationwide with your products mm -hmm. so by god's grace that's what i'm looking for also they definitely changing the packaging and everything mm -hmm. um so probably a little bit increase in the prices mm -hmm. but I mean, if I'm going to be selling everywhere. Of course, yeah. Okay, so final question. Can yeah. you please recommend one person who we should interview who is okay. a young black woman, woman in Nigeria mm -hmm. and one restaurant that we have to go to? Okay, I'll start from the restaurant. First of all, the food here is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, one vanilla moon. Mm -hmm. I would recommend the house. Also in Victoria Island. I really like it. It's like my getaway spot. Mm -hmm. um, it's designed like a house, so you're like basically <clears throat> my bad. You're basically in like a sitting room, living room. Mm -hmm. it, it just feels like you're at home. You have your Tuesdays while you're eating. And nice. Yes. Watch okay. your BS TV, watch you know, uh -huh. whatever it is you want. Netflix and chill. Yeah. <laughs> and you're in a restaurant. Nice. You know, nice. So nice, everybody's nice. just like at your beck and call uh -huh. while you're at home. So right, nice. I recommend the house uh -huh. and I'll recommend my friend. Her name is Tomika. I don't know if you've reached out to her already. Tomika. No. I lie on date. I lie on date. Yeah. I, I would recommend what's that handle um i think at tommy care on the spot a okay so i recommend that i'll look out for her All okay right. i'll you see you soon tommy care then <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so much amanda for coming on the channel it was so great to talk to you it's really inspiring to speak to any young individual whether you're a man woman whatever you identify as um who is passionate about what they're doing and is motivated by passion and not like money yeah, yeah. and i think it's also important to understand that people still work nine to fives like you can look online and see there's so much going on and this and that and you're so busy but you still have to yeah. allocate your time to actually make a living for yourself uh -huh. Uh -huh. um but you can find her at, at amanda underscore d-a-r-r d-a-r-a that's dara on instagram amanda dara mm -hmm. and her products are dara underscore naturals Ooh, like naturals it. with a z right no with an s with an s okay at dara underscore naturals um we, it would be great for you guys to support she's got um she's partnered with dhl so she can deliver globally as yes. well Ooh, so ah. you guys can support from any part of the world Maybe i'm I did, so impressed i did my research now <laughs> <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for coming thank on you board. so much as well. to, and thank you so much vanilla moon as well the, the food, food is, is amazing young. the service has been great you know, i'm sure half of the video you don't see food in my mouth in my cheeks <laughs> on my lips but no judgment Sorry. and they have a really nice um outdoor area as well um, they do. and honestly it's really welcoming the menu is quite extensive as well so you guys should pop down here thank you sir thank you for <laughs> thank you <laughs> and thank you so much to our producer victor who i hope will be sticking with us on this journey mm -hmm. and be flying around the world with us and meeting all these what beautiful... about me and you as well now <laughs> <laughs> so thanks victor what's your app at victor akin jail Victor Akin JR on Instagram and this is his food, that's why it's there by the way. Like, <laughs> it's not just sitting there. I thought it was for them. Yeah. It's for you guys. So thank mm. you so much. Peace out. Enjoy. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment. <laughs> what is to see?